Hey everybody, Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well and having a good week. So we're getting into the weekend here. It's going to be pretty quiet. And if anything, kind of on the fence with the weekend forecast. Let me know in the comments if you actually want to keep seeing those or if we should take a break from them. But what I am going to do since we're starting a new month, and really I meant to have this video up yesterday, but unfortunately this didn't come until late in the evening, into the overnight. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the month ahead here. We're gonna do a final outlook for March. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So pretty uh, self-explanatory here with what we're looking at here. I mean, it's right here in front of you, the temperature outlook map. And what we're looking at here is the percentiles. So areas in the blue are gonna be indicated as probabilities for below average, the orange, going into red and even this little pink color here are going to be probability temperature probability percentages above average so the first thing that i notice is more cool air is going to be prevalent out towards the west and over towards alaska leads me to think that we could have a couple of different periods where we have a lot more troughing going on out towards the west and then eventually a uh, eventually a bit more ridging out towards the east this could potentially result in more active weather and we'll be able to see a better reflection of that as we get into the precipitation outlook but some points of interest here on this map of course is towards western alaska where we have that uh 50 to 60 percent chance of seeing below average temperatures <clears throat> and also seeing that same that same area over here towards the southwest here in particular so with that in mind here we also have to look on the other side of the spectrum here where we're seeing those warmer than average temperatures reaching those higher probabilities from 60 to 80 percent mainly over towards the northeast the great lakes and the new england region in particular with that 70 to 80 percent look there we can go over to the precip outlook and this is another thing that i want to make note of you see an increased amount of activity towards the west central part of the u.s the uh, southwest actually looks like it's a little bit more towards average and then also another thing to make note of is this area is a little bit more dry over here towards the easternmost parts of that southwestern region where we're kind of like on the fringe of that uh, desert over here getting towards the uh, southern plains towards texas so be on the lookout for some drier weather and that is a concern because we recently have had some uh issues with wildfires and this could continue potentially based on this outlook here so if you happen to have a red flag warning issued in this area in particular just make sure that you are taking proper precautions people have different ways of disposing stuff partially that could be through burning so just make sure you're um, following proper procedure there Another area to watch for as far as below average precip will be towards the Great Lakes everywhere else towards the southeast we're going to look we're looking like we're going to be pretty active here we could have multiple time frames where we have showers and thunderstorms maybe even for days at a time potentially and the same can be said out west still pretty active over here we probably will be starting to see a uh, decrease in the amount of activity over here we've been getting slammed with atmospheric rivers over here towards the west for a while now so i'm not surprised to see this trend continue but I don't expect this to continue onward for too much longer i hope because i'm sure a lot of you guys over there are tired of that <clears throat> sorry my voice is cracking now getting into the numbers a little bit more in depthly we're going to go ahead and look at the temperature anomaly keep in mind this is in celsius so i'm going to try to give a rough estimate of what the degree will be in fahrenheit here but we'll just kind of go from there. As you can see already, almost a carbon copy of what we're looking at on the uh, temperature outlook here. And I'll show it to you one more time. You can pretty much see a perfect reflection of that. Uh, the warmest temperatures, the hottest temperatures are definitely going to be over towards the northeast. Towards the deep south, it's pretty much above average. And this is what it's going to be like leading into that first week. So, like I said, if you're over towards the northeast, you could be 20, 30, maybe even 40 degrees of average potentially for that first week so it's going to be very warm over here you could probably put the jacket away for this week at least then out west it's notably cooler than average over here especially towards the west central part of the country in particular where we're seeing almost an inverse of that 
maybe not quite as cold, but we could see maybe about 20, maybe even a couple spots getting to 30 degrees below average. Like I said, and this temperature contrast does intrigue me a little bit because when you see these air masses in this with this kind of uh, with this sharp of a contrast here, when you get those collisions air mass, you typically get storms. So depending on how parameters play out, could be a week where we may see a pretty stout storm system. We'll end up seeing if that ends up being the case. So if we go to week two here, you can notice that warm air is starting to be pushed a little bit further up to the north. We're still seeing above average temperatures towards the south, but not quite as strong. And the same can even be set out west. So by that point, the storm system that I'm interested in looks like it's going to be around the fourth from what i remember seeing on the last video like i said no guarantees to what kind of severe weather it causes but after that point we do see a little bit more moderation unless you're towards the northern states a little bit more then as we go beyond that point we start to level out a little bit and then see a little bit of a shift towards the end of the month where we could be seeing those below average temperatures out towards the deep south of course i would not expect this to last towards the end of the month if we take a sneak peek to week five, which will lead us into April, you can already see that cold air starting to move out. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at the precip here. Like I said, it's going to be a pretty active week for the south here. We already are off to a very wet start over here towards my neck of the woods near Atlanta. We, got a, we had rain pretty much all day, and we may see a little bit more rain before the weekend is out. And then as we go towards the west here, pretty much a similar deal. Northern states are a little bit active still at the moment. Jet, the jet streams kind of stored up a little bit towards the border. So we've been seeing this kind of activity for a minute here. A little bit drier towards the heart of the country, but that may change by the time we get in the next week. Still seeing plenty of activity towards the eastern half of the country, but we're starting to see a little bit more in the way of the central plains now as well go towards the back half of the month now we're starting to see an increase in activity towards the west and kind of getting into a little bit more of an average look for the deep south and the southeast here it's starting to calm down out west which is kind of what i was anticipating earlier as i mentioned before so we're finally maybe going to start to see a little bit of a break in the action here as far as the atmospheric river is concerned that last week we continue to see a reflection of that and a little bit more of a stable pattern in general for a larger part of the country maybe a little bit of an increase in precip over towards the northeast but beyond that point not much really going on at this point we do begin to see maybe an increase in action as we start to head towards the far end of the month and maybe start to sneak into april here so if we go ahead and take a look at what our upper level jet is going to look like, and this is going to kind of give us a good indicator of what the weather pattern could be like from start to finish throughout the month here. This is not something I always use to forecast because of how far out this goes, but this is the only one that goes out to about a month. And like I said, this can easily go the other way because this can change on a run to run basis. And then on top of that, this updates every 12 hours. But you can see a pretty strong uh, upper level jet coming into play around the third here and the fourth. And I think this would be the system that would potentially cause some severe weather. Of course, we'll get into further detail with that by the time we get into either tomorrow or Sunday. Then after that point, we still see plenty of activity courtesy of this uh, subtropical jet here to the south. See a little bit of troughing coming in. And then eventually, here is a big ridge right here. And this is where we're going to see a huge warm up come into play towards the middle part of the month. And then towards that back half, we do have to watch for a couple, maybe a couple of setups from the looks of it here. And then after that, the pattern does look like it starts to pick up momentarily. And then right towards the end, we start to kind of become more zonal here where we're seeing occasional systems maybe towards the deep south and then eventually right at the end of the month here after this system goes through we'll become a lot more zonal there could be maybe a little bit more activity maybe towards the central plains here so maybe it could be an early start to tornado season there is a wild card here that we're dealing with here and that's the shift from 
El Nino into a neutral Enzo, which is anticipated to happen this spring. We're already on the downtrend here. And as we head into March, we're going to see a sharper decline here. We could very well be on the way towards a neutral Enzo towards the very end of the month. And whenever we start to have a shift like this, the weather can often uh, throw a few wild cards in here and there. So there could be an active point as well. But since we're so far out, I can't have a lot of confidence at the moment of this. I'm just kind of going off of trends that I've seen in previous years. So that being said, just keep an eye on the weather, especially towards the beginning of this month and towards the back half. The middle of the month is still a mystery at this moment. I do think, of course, there's a couple chances for some stormy events. We'll have to see how significant they are, and we'll just have to look at model continuity from that point. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, especially, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment. And if you're new around here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. That being said, you guys have an awesome rest of your day and weekend. That being said, Ty Metalhead Weatherman signing out. You guys have a good weekend.